All right, it's another episode one review and rating, where I make a little recap and review of the first episode of the new anime series, not the returning ones, in the spring 2024 season. If you enjoy the videos and want to see more of them, feel free to like and subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to turn on the notifications so you get alerts when I publish new videos. Last season, we had Buchigiri, the light-hearted delinquent anime with one of the most annoying MC. This season, we got another delinquent anime, Windbreaker. Episode 1 begins with our main character called Sakura. No, not that Sakura. Or that one either. This one. Yeah. He's walking on a tightrope in complete darkness while these total jerks hurl insults at him. And for what? Because he looks like a delinquent. Oh yeah, in case you didn't know, this is a high school delinquent anime. Anyway, he suddenly wakes up from this nightmare, bothered by the visions that seem to haunt him. Who wouldn't be? Switch to real life and on Tonpu shopping street, walls painted with graffiti. Now Sakura is having an inner monologue about his love for the strong and his contempt for the weak. I mean, who asked him, huh? Anyway, some gang members are harassing a woman. Sakura had enough of these weak guys and stepped in giving them a taste of his fiery punches, and we begin to see that the animation is going to be tight. He introduces himself as Haruka Sakura of Furin High School to the bodies lying on the ground, unconscious. As he turns to leave, the woman being harassed stops him and expresses her gratitude, along with inviting him for a meal. Sakura's face flushed red and responded like a typical tsundere. As she serves him some omu rice, she introduces herself as Kotoha and goes ahead to reveal she's surprised he came to the town. For some time, the town was infested with gang and turf wars until some years ago when all the gangs were run out of town. She never explained what happened. And not only that, Kotoha is genuinely interested in his half-and-half -half appearance, which embarrasses Sakura further. You see, he's always been looked down on because of his appearance. And it would make sense if he at least tried to smile and be less aggressive. Still, Kotoha doesn't look down on him, and she isn't scared of the fact that he beats up people. Looks like she's used to that kind of life. At the same time, Sakura declared he had come to Furin to fight his way to the top of the ladder at the infamous delinquent school. While they talk, an old man walks out of the restaurant, and Sakura hands him the bag that he forgot to take with him. Kotoha lets him in on a secret that he won't be able to climb up the ladder at Furin if he continues acting alone and all by himself. You remember those gang members Sakura knocked out? Well, they returned in numbers to create more chaos around the street, breaking glasses, damaging shops, and all that. The people shut themselves inside their homes and called some unknown people. Now seeing all the chaos, Sakura remembered Kotoha's comment about being alone and charged into the gang and begins fighting all by himself. Not surprised by this, though. Then, Kotoha is taken hostage again and Sakura tries to protect her, but now he can't fight these guys and protect this girl. He's in a tight spot with an injured leg. Just when he was about to be boink with a baseball bat, some unknown dude blocked it with his back. Suddenly, students from Furin arrive and stylishly fight the remaining gang members, with the resident cheering them on. You see, Sakura was stunned because how could these people be cheering on these delinquents? Kotoha explained to a stunned Sakura that the town changed and now enjoyed peace because students from Furin had taken up the role of the town's protectors. There's even a warning sign in the neighborhood scaring any gangs, and the townspeople call them Bafurin. You could see the baffled and angry look on Sakura's face. As the brutal beatdown of the gangs died down, the residents came to meet the Bafurin and thank them. You see, Sakura had this picture in his head that the foreign students were fighting machines, but what he's seeing is quite different. This makes him so uncomfortable that he rejects the kind gestures from the people. He's never experienced this before, but Kotoha urges him to open up to others. 
No way though, as Sakura charges at the gang leader trying to sneak in an attack, declaring his earlier ambition of becoming Furin's number one. And that is the story of how a boy at the lowest of the low, hated by all, worth nothing but his fists becomes the hero of the town. First, I gotta talk about the visuals. Cloverworks brought out the big guns here as the action sequences are fluid, the colors pop, and there are some creative moments. As for our boy Sakura, he reminds me of Shoto Todoroki from My Hero Academia, especially his half and half appearance. He may seem tough because of the people rejecting him as a person, hiding his painful past, and believing he's really a delinquent. But under all that tough guy act, he seems like a good kid. I expect to see some character development in the coming episodes. From this episode, I give this anime a rating of 7.5. As for me, I will keep watching this one. Also, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe because I will be doing more videos like this one. So stay tuned.